ever since starting Shrimp Daddy, I've just had this connection with pineapples. It's like we were always meant to be together. Happy almost Halloween, guys. I love Halloween. I don't necessarily love dressing up, but I do love one, getting scared. Two, okay, one A, getting scared in a controlled environment. Two, scary movies. Three, all things pumpkin. And four, candy. My family celebrates Halloween like none other. We actually go to my aunt and uncle's house. So last year it was UFOs and they built this gigantic UFO and they put it in their front yard. So as everyone walks by to trick or treat, there's a show every 10 minutes. My brother gets so into it. It's super duper duper cool and I'm really sad that I'm missing it this year. Another one of my favorite things to do during Halloween is Halloween Horror Night at Universal Studios. Every year, I really, really, really want to go. I always force Dan to come with me. And this year, I actually, yeah, I force my best friends to come with me. And I am so grateful because they love me so much that even though they hate scary stuff, like actually hate, hate scary stuff, they came with me. And I think, I think they had a great time. <laughs> Looks like they had fun, right? <laughs> I definitely had fun, and I know that they had fun. Secretly, they tell me that they didn't have fun, but I know that they had fun. Right, guys? And now, it's time for me to show you what's up for this Halloween DIY. Halloween is coming up. Ooh, so spooky. But, to make things a little less spooky this year, instead of carving a pumpkin, this year I'm going to be carving a Pineapple! We've been around so many pineapples this year with Shrimp Daddy that it just feels right. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Instead of carving it like this, which you would normally do for a pumpkin, you just cut off the top, scoop out the insides. I am going to do it from the side. I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult if I try to scoop out uh, the flesh from the top because I don't have one of those coil things that you've seen on the internet. So what I'm gonna do, essentially you're gonna cut like a, a drawer out of this. Man, this reminds me of cutting all the pineapples for Shrimp Daddy. Props to our team for all your pineapple carving skills. In the beginning, it was just us. We were carving all the pineapples, but now we have an amazing team to help us and we're so thankful for it. Oh, I just bent my spoon. Whoops. Okay, so I'm carving out a square in the center, if you guys can see here. And then making kind of a tic-tac-toe thing so it's easier to get out the meat. Mmm. Do you guys love pineapples as much as I do? Mmm. It's so sweet. Wow, this is a really good pineapple. It's kind of hollowed out in here. Scoop all the juices out. I'm gonna eat this. So this is gonna be the back that's going to fit back on afterwards. I'll cut this right now. I love the core of the pineapple. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, whenever my mom would buy pineapple, she would leave the core in spears and we would eat it. It would only be me and her eating the spears because my brother and my dad liked the regular part of the pineapple. I'm gonna carve the face of my jack-o'-lantern in here on the reverse side. This brings back memories of my childhood where we used to sit in the kitchen, my brother and I, and make jack-o'-lanterns. Good times. Now my brother has two kids of his own. I bet he's gonna do this with his kids this year. I'm actually going back to San Francisco 
tomorrow for the weekend to see my family, to spend my grandpa's birthday with him, and hopefully we'll get to carve some pumpkins with the little ones. Pumpkin. One year I carved a pumpkin and I made Yoda. No joke. I didn't even use a stencil. I did look at a picture while I was carving it, but I did not use a stencil. Proud moment. Yes. Yes. I bought these flickering tea lights. They were $4 from Target. That way there is no fire hazard here. Although these are meant for pumpkins, so it's orange to camouflage with the orange. But since I have a pineapple, let's see what happens. So this is the cool part, guys. This just fits in like that. And you would never know. It's actually very, very camouflaged. You have no idea that there's even a cut in here. So here he is, my pineapple jack-o'-lantern. And the best part, you can eat the insides. Mmm. It's nighttime. And look, he's glowing. I love it so much. Smells so delicious, first of all. Oops. Happy Halloween, folks. Spooky. Duke's trying to look. Ah! Duke, Duke, Duke.